Okay, hi everybody. I just wanted to make a quick video here about solving linear systems, and we're going to use elimination in this video. And the main idea here is that you can add and subtract these equations in this linear system, and it doesn't change the overall solution to the system. So let's take a quick look at an example here. So I've got uh, x plus 2y equals 6, and I've got 8x plus 3y is equal to negative 4. Now, what I want to do is I want to combine these equations in such a way that gets rid of one of the variables. Because if I've got a, an equation with just one variable in it, it's pretty easy to solve. Now, what I can do here is I want to get the coefficients the same. So I'm going to take equation 1, and I'm going to multiply it by 8. Okay, and that is going to get me 8x plus 16y is going to equal 48. And I'm not going to do anything to equation 2. I'm going to leave it as 8x plus 3y is equal to negative 4. And now, because I've got 8x and 8x, I'm going to subtract those two equations. And when I do that, 8x minus 8x is going to cancel. Uh, 16y minus 3y will be 13y. And 48 minus negative 4 is going to be 52. And that's, that's a very, very common error. I'm going to comment on that later on here. Um, to, when you subtract negatives wrong. A lot of people put 44 there. 48 minus negative 4. And then when I divide, I'm going to get y is equal to 4. So now that I know that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that little bit of information that y equals 4 into one of these equations, probably equation 1. So I'll get x plus 2 times 4 is going to equal 6. So x plus 8 is equal to 6. And I'll bring that uh, 8 over and I'll get negative 2. So I'm thinking that the solution here is going to be the point negative 2 comma 4. Now for me to check this, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use equation 1. I just used equation 1 to find the, the x-coordinate there. So I know that it works in the x-coordinate and in, in equation 1. What I don't know is if it works in equation 2. So let's try that. 8 times negative 2 plus 3 times 4. Does that equal negative 4? Well, it's going to be negative 16 plus 12. Is that negative 4? Yes, it is. Left side is equal to the right side. I know that we're good. Let's take a look at another example here. Uh, this time, things are a little bit more complicated because it's not just an easy matter of multiplying one equation through by a value here and making them match up here. I'm going to have to do uh, something to both of them. So what I'm going to do here is, let's say I'm going to get rid of the, the y coordinate in this case. So I'm going to multiply equation 1 by 5, and that's going to get me 15x plus 20y is equal to 5. And I'm going to multiply equation 2 by 4. Okay, so equation 2 by 4 is going to be 8x minus 20y is going to equal 64. Put those together. I'd like to get rid of the y coordinates because the coefficients are the same value, even though the signs are different. So in this case here, because the signs are different, all I need to do is add these two equations to get rid of the y coordinate. So 15x plus 8x is 23x. 20 minus 20 is 0. And that's what I want. I want one of the coordinates to disappear here. And then 5 plus 64 is going to be 69 there. X is going to equal 3 when I divide. So now I can take that and I can plug that result here. And I might go back into equation 1 again. So let X be equal to 3. 3 times 3 plus 4Y is equal to 1. 9 plus 4Y is equal to 1. So that's 4Y is equal to negative 8 y equals negative 2. So I think that the point should be the point here, 3 comma negative 2. Now let's, let's check that. Now notice once again, I went into equation 1 to find the missing coordinate. So let's just go into equation 2 to check it. So we're going to check this in equation 2, and that is going to be 2 times 3 minus 5 times negative 2. Does that equal 16? Well, it's going to be 6 plus 10 is equal to 16. So yes, 16 is equal to 16. Left side is equal to the right-hand side, so that works. That is the solution that I'm looking for, 3 comma negative 2. And again, notice that the common error here is going to be when people do not subtract negatives properly. Or, or worse yet, they don't basically distribute the negative to everything. So they like subtract the first terms, and then they add the other ones as they go along there. 